welcome to Gosford City Radio. Tonight we have a studio audience who I will be soliciting questions from later. Our guest tonight is Gay Russell from Gosford Bank. Gay is the Director for Product Innovation. Gary, there's been a lot of community discussion about, about fast third party payments after the press article and what effect it will have on us all. Can you explain please? Yes, I sure can. We had a lot of customers come into our bank and asked us, what's this new third party payment, what everyone's talking about, and how will it make a difference? Well, as many people have read the article will know, that there's a new third party payment coming in, which will be called a fast payment. To be more precise, it's called NOSCO. O-S-K-O. And an OSCO payment is guaranteed to be delivered to your payee typically within one minute. And that's between bank to bank. At the moment, you're used to third party payments where if your bank, the same bank as your payee, then your payment gets there very quickly. For instance, NAB, Westpac, Commonwealth Bank, all these sort of banks, you log on into their banking, you set up your third party payment, you set it off, and your payee, if they're at that bank, has got their money straight away. But with an OSCO payment, it will mean that if someone banks at ANZ and their payees at NAB or Westpac, they will receive that payment typically within one minute. And that means even on a weekend, 11 o'clock at night, outside banking hours, that payment will arrive. But it doesn't end there. With an OSCO payment, not only do you get that quick speed, but you also get a better description. No more this limited 18 character description you have to cope with, and having to work out various codes to fit the description right down to 18 characters. You now have 280 character descriptions. You think that's good. It also doesn't end there. You're limited to Latin alphabets at the moment. If your bank implements it, you can use any character on the defined Unicode character set. That means emojis, Chinese characters, Japanese, even English I suppose. But if anything your bank will let you enter, the recipient bank must display. So that means our ethnic peoples who have their own alphabet can use their own language for the description. But if you think that's good, with an OSCO payment, you get something else. A pay ID. What's a pay ID? A better way of describing your bank account. You're used to sending a, a payment to a BSB and an account number. But with OSCO, you can nominate a different form, like a telephone number or an email address, ABN, or an organisation identifier. If I want someone to pay me a payment, I can tell them, please pay my mobile telephone number. Because that would mean, that's this, I don't have to remember my BSB account number. And the opponent, my payer enter this in very easily. But what happens if they transpose a few figures? How will they know that they're still paying the right number? Well, with a pay ID, we get something even more. Once they enter the mobile number into their payment capture screen, they'll get my name pop up on the screen before they hit submit. That means they get surety of who they're going to pay. And this would mean that we're going to get a lot less mistaken payments, a lot less accidents. And that is the new OSCO payment. Thank you, Gary. 
I'll be looking forward to making OSCO payment, particularly to pay ID. Would anyone from our studio audience like to ask a question? Bruce. Gary, I'm a shareholder of uh, all of the Australian banks, and that sounds terrific from the customer's perspective, but it doesn't sound too good from my perspective, because my understanding is that the banks were always able to hold the remittances made by customers and put them on the overnight uh, money market and make money out of this. How is the bank, or how are the banks, going to compensate me as a shareholder when Oscar is introduced? Well, of course, this is going to be a bit of a lost leader, but if your bank doesn't implement an OSCO payment, they're going to lose market share rather rapidly to the banks who do. This is actually an RBA-initiated uh, plan. Uh, the RBA have stepped in. They, they know the payment system is extremely slow at the moment, and they want to speed up, so they've mandated the big banks to do this. Not only that, is that they've also mandated settlement time must be immediate. And since the banks get their money from the payment, they, because it's been settled immediately over, through the RBA, they also have to deposit that money into the payee's account immediately. Uh, Marjorie. What, is, um, what guarantee can the bank give me that <coughs> my details won't be passed on to some crook or hacker? Uh, are you worried about the fact that you're Pay ID name will appear on someone's screen. Yes, my mobile payment. phone number and my bank account number will be free to air. Your mobile number will only be free to air if you give it to someone. Only if you register a pay ID will a pay ID come in use. If you do not register it, it will not no one can use it. So the bank is giving me a guarantee that they won't pass it on or no one can hack it. No, you can't unless you set it up and and you must actually have give approval for it to be set up, then it can't be set up. But you are right that the pay ID name will flash up on someone else's computer if they put your mobile number in if you've signed up for this. But the banks are aware of this and they've also put in anti phishing routines to prevent people doing this and identify the culprits who are doing it. Jerry. Gary, you said um, that uh, the big banks, does that mean that the, the smaller banks, the regionals, are not going to be included? The small banks are in fact included, but they're going through consolidators. There's three main consolidator banks or financial institutions in the market, Indu, Costco, and I forget the third one, and they deal with mostly the credit unions and small societies. So. Our local credit unions and even Gosford Bank, because we're in a small outfit, will go for a consolidator. Uh, at, and that's why we can compete with the big boys. That is all the questions we have time for. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> and thank you, Gary, Gosford Bank. That is, thank you, Wendy. That is the end of our programme for tonight.